Welcome back again. My name is GamerMade Zero, and today on Satisfactory, right after we cross this river, we're going to be redoing our entire base. Now, this can be partially the most fun part and partially the most painful part of the entire game. It's really awesome trying to redesign your game. I think the only thing that I would really like to see about this is if you get um, what is it if anybody's ever played the game uh, Factorio then you know about blueprints but essentially blueprints would be something where you can grab a selection of a few different items that you've laid down and then you can use those items to uh, use a get a blueprint and use that blueprint to build that exact layout again and the benefit of having that is that you can uh, once you find the right organization, you don't have to really worry about doing it over and over again. And I think that could really add to this game, because this one especially, in dealing with three dimensions for everything that you have to do, can be really difficult sometimes. So having that extra layer of support would be nice. Now, the only question is, is that um, how would you actually do that? Because it's three dimensions as well. Because in or Factorio, for example, it's a 2D game. You just drag your selection around whatever you want, and that's that. Not a problem. But not so much in this game. This one, uh, like how deep do you want it to go, kind of. That's going to be the problem area. Alright, let's see... Trying to get rid of items I don't need. We'll do that and then do store all so that way it stocks up on everything. I'll take that stuff back though. Alright, and let's check out this here. This fabric is suitable for the creation of parachutes. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. Parachutes, yay! Alright, so we have that scanning now. Now that we have oil processing, we can also build this. This is going to be the next stop anyways on what we want to build, is industrial manufacturing. And we'll be getting that all together. So part of what we're going to want to do is so we're gonna really just take down everything I might leave the foundations that's a good starting point and then we'll see about what we need to do to create our first level maybe put up a few buildings not a lot and then create our second level so right now let's just see if I can take everything I don't need the fuel so we can leave the fuel in there, but I want to take everything else out of there. Now the only thing about doing this is uh, taking down everything here, is that you're going to have to have a lot of storage. So we need a staging area. So somewhere where we can just kind of go run back and forth to a lot in order to store everything. Now, also while we're doing this, we don't want to be holding a lot, so we'll probably empty our entire hands here while we're doing this. So we'll want to make sure we have things like the chainsaw there. I don't think we'll need the barrels, the barrel nuts. Those are fine. We'll probably put them in here. So anything that we want to... <coughs> Let's see. We have some of these over there, so that's kind of pointless. Those. Let's put this back over here. There we go. If you're not organized basically about breaking down your base, then the whole base is going to be that much more difficult to go through. And this is the part that I really hope that helps everybody out. Actually, let's do this. Grab over the concrete. 
Alright, let's build our staging area. Staging area could probably be over here. Probably around the concrete. I'm just going to hold control to get these things in a line, which doesn't seem to work that well. There we go. Oh no, that's just awkward. Okay, so I'm having to like lift up the button and press the button again. That's how this is working. Alright. I probably overdid it, but I'd rather overdo it than underdo it. Alright, now... Part of what I mean about having some sort of an organization to it is that everything is going to need to go into different bins or boxes. So you're going to want to make sure that you're trying to keep things together as much as possible. Let's see. Cable. Concrete. We'll just put the rest of everything in there. Okay. Let's do this. This is going to pretty much wreck everything. What we'll probably start out doing is getting rid of this. That should, and we'll let things run for a minute. And then as things go through, because I don't want a bunch of ore in my inventory. That's just kind of nasty. And we'll do the same thing with this here. This whole belt here is kind of a pain. It's not exactly what I wanted to do in the first place anyways, but we needed the ore, so it happened. Alright, now let's see if we can do anything, take any items out of the, um, the end over here. Let's see. We are backed up on all of this. So we'll go grab our frames over here. Yep, because it got stacked up to 50. So that'll start running again. Let's see what else is running. Oops, it's stuck. Running or not running. Ooh, we have a good amount of the reinforced iron plates. We'll go ahead and leave that alone. Let's go ahead and cut off the supplies on this side too. here, how many motors we have, and other things, let's see, 100 beams, 50 motors, should be able to get at least 5 more, probably more than that, and then let's also get the hub going, so we have the uh, the parachute, medical inhaler, we'll need this, let's select that one. We can put our materials right into here. We can go get more wire and cable. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, we'll need five of those and then three of these. Oops. I don't want 
that running. Oh, wait, I can just take the 500 from that. That works. There. Okay. And we should be able to get that launched off now. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that one didn't go. All right, there we go. Milestone reached. Launching. The manufacturer increases production complexity. A critical look at production line logistics and efficiency is recommended during integration. The truck allows for increased efficiency in transportation, automated or otherwise. All right, that's just launching off now. The next one. I think for these ones, I'm going to need the computer, so we're not even really close to that. I think everything else would be easy enough, but it's the computers that really make that difficult. So we could do the medical inhaler or the jump pads. We might want to do the jump pads next, because we're going to start doing the building up. Alright, let's go ahead and start breaking down our smelters. We'll just run across here. It looks like most of them. I'm looking on the conveyor belts to see if they have anything in them. Like these over here have stuff in them, I think. Yeah, they're still active. Go ahead and break down the conveyors then. And I don't know how many episodes this one's going to take. This, uh, destroying and rebuilding my factory. This is going to take a little bit of time. And so this is probably going to be three, maybe four part series. We'll see how fast it goes. It could go way longer than that. We'll find out. There we go. Where are we at here? Put some of the ore in some of this here, so that way we're not... Like I said, I don't want to be really storing a lot of ore. How are we doing on this one? Not too much longer. Don't want to break down power poles just yet, so let's grab the rest of these conveyors. You start breaking down power poles and you're not careful which one's which and you'll completely remove power to your base which isn't too big of a deal, except for, like I keep saying, about wanting to get rid of the iron ore and the other things. Oh, I didn't actually finish getting rid of or cutting off the copper supply. There we go. We'll come back here in a minute and load that up some more. Alright, these ones are empty now, so we'll go ahead and take these. How much more of this have to go? Looks like that was it. Finished just as we were getting into it. This one's spent out a couple more. Alright. That one has a ways to go. Actually, it had 60 inches. That one only takes one iron ingot. I'll add that to there. These aren't actually hooked to anything, so let's go ahead and break these down. These aren't really going anymore. I wonder why. Let's find out. You have to be full. Yep. Yeah. Are you full already? No power. What did I do? I'm all like, hey, don't get rid of your power. You never know what it's connected to. And I still managed to do that. Really, this whole area is just disconnected with power? Okay.
this whole mess here that we built to get some more rods going. <laughs> That's going to feel really nice not having that anymore. But let's actually not touch any more power poles. I keep trying for some reason. see what these look like. Those are being used. The rods are not. We may run out of rods here. See if I have some more metal ore, which I don't think I do. Let's put the remaining copper ore I have in here. Oh, iron ore. I don't think I really actually needed ore. I think it's ingots I really needed. We can grab. Oh, let's do that. Okay. We won't really need any more of these. It's actually kind of backed up on that side. And this is adding all that stuff to my side. And then I can, the um, iron ingots over here, put the last bit of it over there. Let's get rid of that one. We'll leave him going. I think that's all I want to leave going. Alright, now we'll load these two up with more iron. for a minute. Actually, I can grab the rods out of that. Did I actually pick that up? No. Oh, those are plates. I don't think I need plates. Now this is going to both sides here, so we'll drop the iron rods over there. Iron plates over here. We have a few more iron ingots on us. Alright, let's see how many iron of uh, the, not iron, but the frames. Twelve more. Ooh, I almost missed it, but I'm going to need like 200 iron rods. And then 200 of these. And that's for the milestone that I have going in the upper right corner here. We'll need some wire for that as well. Let's go ahead and turn that off. We don't need any more. And we might need more wire. Or not wire, but cable. <clears throat> I 
Okay, not yet. Let's check on how these are doing over here. There's some more to make. Four starting plates we have. Good amount actually. Let's grab another 50 of those. We're gonna have a lot of motors. That'll be something we'll go ahead and go back over to the staging area and store. Like that these have lights on them, but I kinda wish you could build lights separately. should do. Now we have the rocket back so we can go load up on our current milestone. Alright, let's load up 200 plates. And rods 100. Milestone reached. Buildings aimed at factory traversal, including several different categories of jump pads, can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. Alright, rocket, rocket launches again. Now, for this, what we really want to do is try and keep it going but we're gonna obviously run into an issue because we have the materials um, are no longer being produced we're now storing them let's see what is our next one we want to do parachute medical inhaler those will be easy ones See how this is going over here. Not too much more. Not too much more. So the biggest thing with this is that uh, it really just trying to save on the materials and the space that we go back and forth. But I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up real soon here, making sure that we get this taken care of. Uh, not just waiting, wasting time basically. But uh, you do that too much and you run the risk of having to reintroduce all the items back into your base. And that is a pain. Here, let's take some of those materials and actually... Oh, somewhere around half. Put some in there and some in here. Oh, that one doesn't have any at all. Cool. Okay. So let's just kind of see how we're going with the rods here. think we're gonna get really any more than a hundred going here and then this right here is gonna drop a box oh I have enough to handle that okay maybe it wasn't as many as I thought oh here's the 
different pads. So you have a jump pad, a tilted jump pad, and a U jelly landing pad. So they'll need energy to work, by the way. So this one, as it builds more, it can just build up in here. Looks like that one's out. I'll just leave this here. That way if it does have any room. But let's check on it real quick to see if we have any more motor, motors. Excuse me. And then while I'm at it, I don't want those things in there anymore. I only ended up building one for some reason. We can do that later. Alright, we got another 25 here. Sounds like our rocket's back. Just get to see it landing. And we'll go drop this item, these items off in the storage. Now, I won't need this anymore here. And these things are just going to get in the way. Okay. We don't have any plates on us. Rods. I feel like we need more rods. Which is kind of good. Let's put... Actually, let's take this with us. And see what we got going on over here. I keep forgetting you can jump through that. Alright, the parachute. I need more rods for. We got 17 iron rods from that, none from that, 10 iron rods, now we have 125 total iron rods. That's a beautiful view there. Get a few more rods going through this here. Alright, let's run back. Should be enough rods to get our next thing going here. So we'll do the parachute. Actually, let's do the medical inhaler. I don't have enough cable for that. That's alright. that way. Hundred. I need more than a hundred. There we go. That'll be enough. <coughs> All right. Medical inhaler. check this out. I think because of the mycelium I won't be able to create a ton of these. I think it's over here. There we go. And I can't build anything. Because I'm out of storage. Oh, more iron ore. Okay. Yep, that's the mycelium that's limiting us on this one. But we'll be able to build four of these. Or five of these, excuse me. That'll be pretty nice. Okay, we'll put that in there. I'll actually take that back. Don't know why I have some of the stuff in here. There. 
Alright, let's go ahead and go store some of this. Where was the one with the rotors? I think it's the one after. There's one that I have with a bunch of rotors, isn't there? Did I miss it? I had to have missed it. I didn't go down that far. Oh well. Just go ahead and start breaking down the rest of this. Alright, I think we're going to bring this to a wrap here. We've just pretty much spent most of the day letting things construct out, letting things build up. And then destroying things, of course. But now we're in that point where we're just going to start getting rid of everything. So we'll go ahead and pick up here on the next video where we're uh, continuing to take things apart. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of upcoming videos, make sure to hit the bell. Alright, thanks again for watching. See you guys next time.